and we're back. So welcome back to here is you know the OG segment, if you will, the good old student spotlight. And I'm super, super excited here today because why you may ask? Well, you know me, I like to give a little bit of backstory. So here's one of my closest friends here at Dean College, Kayla Murray. Can you please tell us, you know, um, what grade you're in and your major? Yes, my name is Kayla. I'm a freshman here at Dean College and I'm a communications major. Well, that, I, you know, I think that's awesome because I'm a communications major too. Really? But I want to dig into that a little bit. Why are you a communications major? Because I've had this dream to always be a news anchor since I was probably about the age of four. So I kind of really want to pursue that dream and make my family happy. Now, I know you currently aren't a news anchor here on DNN, no. but what do you do here at DNN? I am the record operator. I record every segment here at DNN. Well, you know, that might be the most important segment because think about it. If, there's, if it's not being recorded, how could you guys see my beautiful face? No, I'm kidding. It's ugly. Um, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't say ugly. I feel like that's, really, that's a real degrading Whoa, thing. Whoa, inflate the ego. Okay, um, well, you know, talking a little bit more about DNN, why did you join DNN? Well, you know, you and Mara really, you really pushed that down my throat to join, and I said I joined this Whoa, semester. So here I am, and I do enjoy it. So thank you guys for getting me to join. I appreciate it. Yeah, and you talked about enjoying it, but what's your favorite part about DNN? Um, I like how we're very involved, mm -hmm. and we each, like, we have an idea, we get to broadcast that idea and everyone's voice gets heard so I really like that. Yeah I think that's really important to not necessarily have a club with a whole bunch of leaders but have a club. It's not even a club to keep it you know keep it a buck keep it real here. We're a family here at DNN and that's, that's like right. my favorite part and I'm glad someone else agrees that opinion. So um, moving on here I know one of your favorite things to do like one of your passions is dancing. So can you it tell me a little bit about your dancing past experience? Past tense, it was my passion until I tore my meniscus and wasn't able to dance anymore. But I've danced for 15 years and I loved every moment of it. It was very like tedious, strenuous, and a lot of work got put into it, but I loved it. And I'm kind of sad that I can't dance anymore, but I do teach. Well, that's always good. You know, sometimes it isn't about doing it. It's about bestowing that knowledge onto others and creating an impact. Yes. Because it's cool that you can dance, but to inspire little kids, you know, or students, there's, there's no greater feeling than just putting a smile on a little kid's face who wants to dance one day. Yeah, that's the best part. So, you know, I'm really glad you did that. But um, I kind of want to backtrack here a little bit to, you know, yourself earlier. And um, I've... Um, heard something about Ariana Grande the other day and I wanted to dig it up a little bit. Can you break that yes. down for us? So I live in Boca Raton, Florida, which is where Ariana Grande is from. And she actually danced at my dance studio. So occasionally, whenever she needs, she's in Florida and she needs a place to um, rehearse, she dances at my dance studio. And it's really cool because we have that connection with her. Um, I've been in the same building as her. I didn't get to see her because her rehearsal was like blocked off, but I did have the chance to dance and take a class with her backup dancer, Brian Nicholson. So that was a real fun experience. We got to like rehearse one of her dances that she's done. So that was really cool. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, you know, moving on here, what do you think is the hardest part about dance? Um, time management for me. I took like 10 dance classes a week. So kind of getting that with school and um, just your focus and trying to keep track of the different types of dances that you have to do and remembering it all. Now I have a little bit of maybe a controversial question here for you but I know you have a, a really interesting opinion on it. Um, would you consider dance a sport? I do. I do. I know a lot of people they're like eh, it's not really a sport but we put in a lot of practice and rehearsal and I do consider it a sport because mm -hmm. not anyone can just get out there and dance you have to practice, yeah. you have, there's technicalities, so a lot goes into yeah. it. Well, I danced uh, four years for show choir. You can look it up, a Bartlett impression to see me spin the wrong way and become a meme. But, um, you know, I think it takes a lot of hard work. And I think whether it's sport, not a sport, the main thing is you're having fun. That's yes. the important part. Who cares what it's called if you're enjoying it? Um, so I have a couple more questions here for you if you have some time. Yeah. Awesome. Of course. So talking about, you know, some famous people, some shows, um, I know our professor here at Dean College, Vic Michael, likes a show called God Friended Me, and I believe you had a story about that, so can you break that yes. down? Yes. Well, over winter break, I went to the Museum of Natural History in New York City, 
And leaving, I saw that they were filming a show, and me and my grandfather were kind of curious, like, what's going on? And we asked one of the guys, and they're like, oh, they're recording God Friend and Me. So we saw them record, and we saw Brandon Michael Hall and Violet Bean walking down the street, and it's cool just to see, like, behind the scenes of how this show got put together. Yeah, um, I think that's so cool because those are, like, famous people, right? Yeah. And, um, I recently saw DeMar DeRozan, which was really, really cool. No, we didn't actually meet. I saw him about 20 feet away, but I think it's just so cool to, you know, meet these famous people and live. And that's what's so important about networking. And, like, see them off the screen. Yeah, see them off the screen because they're completely different people. Um, moving on here, I want to ask you a couple more questions about your Dean experience. Okay. So can you talk to me about um, what was one thing you've learned so far, being a freshman here? We're almost done with our first year. Being a freshman. Um, kind of, like, put yourself out there. I know that's like a very cliche thing, but like when you put yourself out there, you never know what you're gonna get back, what connections you're gonna make. So I really think that was a big aspect. And you, I met you on the first day. Oh yeah. <laughs> you yeah. had a question and we were able to answer it. Oh yes, I didn't know where to go. <laughs> so um, I just walked up to her and I'm like, where's this room? <laughs> and some of uh, my old friends from high school. So, um, you know, I think um, talking about freshmen is something you're gonna have to do a lot because you recently, um, got able to do a job as a CA. Yes. Um, can you talk about why you made that decision? I feel like being a freshman, people can kind of get like frantic, not know, be nervous and all that. So I kind of want to be there that they can talk to and like kind of guide them and then make sure they enjoy their freshman experience. Yeah, um, just one more question here. And this is to you know our viewers, maybe people at the college who are thinking about joining DNN. Why do you think people should join DNN? Well, Personally, for me, because I wanted to be a news anchor, so it's a great experience, hands-on experience. You get to see how a news segment's put together, and I really enjoy that. And even if someone just wants to like, be, see what it's like to be behind camera, they get to have that experience. Yeah, and um, well, that's honestly all the time we have here today, but uh, I'd like to thank Kayla so much for being on here, um, coming out of the, you know, all the way from the control room to uh, yes. you know, be here today. Um, it's awesome to have such a great friend here on today. And, Oh, That's all the time we have here today. Thank you guys so much.